We're going to answer question number two from the Physics 11 um, Chapter 1 review questions. It says two cars are both traveling at the same speed, but car A is rounding a sharper curve. So uh, then there's another car we call it car B. Uh, the acceleration of car uh, A is what? Greater or smaller than the acceleration of car B? So let's draw a quick picture and uh, explain why, what the answer is and why the, the answer is like that. So we have car A, you can call it A, uh, is making a sharper curve. So sharper curve means it's a quicker turn, okay? So it's like this, like that, something like that. So it's going like that. And then car B, we can say, is making a more gentle, gentle turn. So this is a gentle turn, a sharper turn, okay? So in which case is the acceleration greater? So the reason there is acceleration in this case is that the direction of the velocity is changing, okay? So even if their speeds are not changing, their direction is changing. So this one has a velocity this way, we can use a different color, you see, like that, V, and slightly, uh, time, slight time later, the velocity is like that. So you see how it changed direction? And then slight time later, it's like this, like that. So the velocity started out pointing upwards a little bit, then horizontal, then pointing downwards. Now this one, what happened? Is the velocity gonna change quicker or uh, slower? So if the car starts out here, the velocity starts out like that, then the velocity goes like that, then car A is gonna go like that. So you see, the velocity is definitely changing directions quicker, okay? So therefore its acceleration is larger. Uh, in the, <clears throat> in the uh, if, if you want to explain this from a formula perspective, we can say the acceleration of an object is velocity squared over radius. Even if the two velocities are the same, if their two speeds are the same, right, V, 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 even if their two Vs are the same, their radius of curvature is not the same. This one's radius of curvature is a bigger radius. You see, if you would draw a circle like this, the radius of curvature is much larger. A gentle curve has a bigger radius of curvature. This one, the radius, uh, it's making a circle like this, okay? The center of the circle is somewhere there. The radius of curvature is much smaller, right? So if the radius of curvature here is smaller, if this number is smaller, it makes the acceleration bigger. This one, the radius is much larger. The radius is much larger in this case, therefore the acceleration is less. So I said it a couple different ways. This is a gentle term. The velocity changes directions slower. It has a bigger radius of curvature. This one has a smaller radius of curvature. The velocity changes uh, quicker. The other way you can explain it too is just from your own experience. When you're going around a mountain, right, you're constantly going into uh, turns, going this way, going this way. If the turn is a very quick turn, you'll see a speed limit posted. The speed limit will always be a smaller speed limit, right? It's a very quick turn, very sharp turn. So it might be 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour. If it's a gentle turn like this, there might be a speed posted, but it might be uh, 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. You can still make the turn because the acceleration is less. Okay, so that, that explains the answer. And the answer is car A has a greater acceleration. Thank you.